What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. So we're talking about Scream 7 in this video here today. I mostly want to be sharing my thoughts on who I think is a necessity or something that is urgent, a character that is urgent to return in regards to the story that's been told from Scream 5 onward. Who is needed for the upcoming seventh entry versus who I want to be participating in it. So before I get into that, I did want to touch on this whole idea of Jessica Roth possibly being in Scream 7. Scream 7, we know, is going to be directed by Christopher Landon, who signed on prior to the strikes, and it is going to arrive sometime in maybe late 2024, if we're lucky, at the latest early 2025, I would imagine. So, earlier this year, Christopher Landon actually had an interview with Cinema Blend, where he was talking about Jessica Roth, and did disclose that they're working on something new together. He said that she's my work wife. She's one of my best friends now. We talk all the time still. We're working on something else together right now. I would love to make movies and create stuff with her for the rest of my life. She's amazing. Now, this is in regards. He did this when he was asked about Happy Death Day and the status of Happy Death Day 3. But he also revealed that he's working on something with Jessica. So now knowing what we know and knowing that he signed on prior to the strikes, I'm wondering how much about Scream 7 has kind of already been pre-planned and set up as stuff they want to do. And if everything pans out well with the AMPTP and the ongoing strikes still, could Jessica Roth actually be working to be included in Scream 7? Could they have already been going over ways to incorporate her into one of the roles that have already been pinned in the screenplay for Scream 7? That's something that I think is highly possible, given that he revealed earlier this year that he is working on a project already with Jessica. Could that project be Scream 7? Yes, of course it could be. It could be something else entirely different. And maybe she still appears in Scream 7. But a part of me wants to believe he's talking about Scream 7 here because he signed on to direct prior to the strikes. Uh, and knowing how we got news of Radio Silence moving on to direct a Universal movie before Scream 6 even came out. I'm thinking that he even signed on prior to the release of Scream 6. That's also a possibility. But diving into my whole thoughts on who I think needs to be back for Scream 7. Scream 5. And again... This is me talking about who needs to be, not who I want to be. If it were completely up to me, my whole entire wants would completely overshadow my better judgment when it comes to respecting the story being told. And I, yes, would have Sidney Prescott back because that is a want. That is a selfish want of mine that will really ultimately undermine the story that's being told from Screen 5 onward. They decided to prop up a story about a woman named Sam Carpenter, who is the daughter of Billy Loomis, and mirror it in a lot of ways to the trilogy that has already existed, or that already exists, I should say, regarding a very beloved character named Sidney Prescott. It's mirroring her trilogy in a lot of ways. So, in, in an effort to recognize the story they're telling, the people who are urgent in regards to needing to come back, obviously Sam. Second, you're, sur you're creating all this mystery around the nature of her parents and that relationship. What was that actually like? What is Christina's role in all of this in, in comparison to her relationship to Billy? So Christina, already somebody who I would think is someone we need to meet. There's a lot of mystique being built around her, a lot of intrigue being built around her. Uh, I could probably say you could pro maybe do without Tara, but in, in regards to the story being told, Tara is also someone I would say is more of an urgent need for the Sam story that's being told since Screen 5 in comparison to what I would want, which is a character like Sidney Prescott to return once again. My thing is simply placing Sidney back into the mix is not something that is needed. It is something that is desired, something that I would prefer, something that I would not mind seeing if done correctly. But going off of the story being told right now, there is nothing about a story regarding the daughter of Billy Loomis, the way they've decided to tell it, that I can sit down and say, hey, you know what? Sydney needs to show up to hear about this. She needs to show up to hear how her boyfriend was sleeping around. She needs to show up to hear how... Her boyfriend was just a hoe in, in town in town of Woodsboro, cheating cheating on her. We don't we don't need that for Sydney. Sydney doesn't need to be here for that. I think bringing back Sam, bringing back her friends, Chad, Mindy, uh, Kirby. I wouldn't argue is something that is a urgent need. This is again just something I would desire in context of what story is being told. I think the urgent characters who would be needing to have some screen time: Sam, Tara, Christina. Sam's friends, Tara's friends that are Chad, Mindy, Gail Weathers, 
if you want to continue to make up for maybe the lack of use of her in Scream 6 and find something substantial for her to do. In my mind, again, I'm thinking of a movie that explores how the exploitation has finally hit a boiling point for someone and they want to send a direct message to Hollywood through a brand new killing spree. That is what I'm thinking of in terms of needs for Scream 7 going off of the story being told. Had they not decided to rely on a story regarding the daughter of Billy Loomis and her pursuing and exploring and dealing with who, where she comes from the lies she's been raised around with her mother recouping or repairing a broken bond with her sister if that's not the story they presented to me in screen five i would not argue that these characters need to return but because they did that i need to be fair to what story they're trying to tell me me going around saying we need to bring back sydney prescott in context to this story is not fair it's actually something that's not needed because they're not even telling anything worthwhile with sydney i just want sydney to appear because it's another screen movie that's why i think a lot of people they're not grasping what i'm saying when i talk about sydney of course if it were completely again within my hands and if i were just being selfish i would completely tell a sydney prescott centric story that's what i probably would end up doing but in all fairness it just wouldn't feel right in comparison to the first or the last two screen movies we gotten which have been about sam carpenter and her struggles with coming to terms with where she comes from her father being a killer her mother being a liar and all of this turmoil that has now gotten her at the center of two ghostface killing sprees now they need to finish that story that is the character they've created they don't need to worry about finishing the character they didn't create and who's already an established character with a completed arc starting an arc for sydney prescott this late in the supposed trilogy i would not do i would not do that i would simply give her something meaningful worthwhile if you decide to write her in and have her tag along if you had to do that which i really don't want to see her just tag along but i think that's what we're going to end up with i'm really scared of having a very crowded film where not everyone is going to be developed well enough and then i'm going to be coming on here saying hey you know what they tried to satisfy so many people they lost focus of the story they were telling i think they need to just focus on sam finish her story give her something that many people can resonate with make everyone who doubted her upon meeting her in screen five choke and give us a worthwhile conclusion to that story and if it's the end of the series as we know it then so be it that's what i think needs to happen given the context of what they've been telling us since screen five you guys can let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video in the description i'll have links on my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video